I'm Julia Paez and I'm a propulsion system design engineer working on ULA's Interim Cryogenic Propulsive Stage or ICPS program. As a propulsion engineer, I am responsible for the cryogenic propellants, the pneumatic system, the engine, and the attitude control system. I'm standing in NASA's assembly building where ULA's ICPS is being stacked on top of the Space Launch System or SLS core stage. ULA is providing hardware and engineering support for three ICPS stages, one each for NASA's first three Artemis missions to the moon on the SLS rocket. For Artemis 1, the ICPS will power the Orion crew capsule out of Earth orbit towards the moon for its 25-day uncrewed test flight. Built by ULA in collaboration with Boeing in Decatur, Alabama, the ICPS is a modified version of our 5-meter diameter Delta Cryogenic second stage. The DCSS has flown on 42 Delta rockets and has delivered 100% mission success. Compared to the Delta IV second stage, the ICPS features a stretched liquid hydrogen tank in addition to electrical and mechanical interfaces customized for SLS and the Orion spacecraft. It also has a second hydrazine bottle for additional attitude control propellant. The ICPS will produce 24,570 pounds or 110.1 kilonewtons of thrust to accelerate to more than 24,500 miles per hour or 39,422 kilometers per hour to escape Earth's orbit. ULA is honored to go back to the moon with NASA and we are excited to start this historic journey with the launch of Artemis 1. Go Artemis, go ICPS! <laughs>